Hey guys, Psycho Revolution here, and welcome to my Gmon Mission Guide. You're watching episode 6. Console commands. What they are, how to use them, how to bind them. I needed a break from all this downloading shenanigans, so I thought we'd hop in Gmod and learn some console commands. So, grab a pen, grab a paper, get that pause button ready, and let's go. Alright. We're doing console commands, so let's go to this camera. The first console command, this one's pretty basic. This one is going to remove your health down in the lower left. Now, if I ever watch a video that someone sends me, they're like, Hey, Psycho, watch my video. And if they have that health bar there, I'm just like, exit. I don't even want to watch. You have no freaking idea what you're doing. Not to be mean or anything, but if you can't get rid of that, you're not going to be making very good videos. This one's pretty easy. We're going to go to the console. If you don't, let me back up here for you newbies. When you first start Gary's Mind, you're going to need to go to Options and go to Advanced and Enable Developer Console. And that's the key you're going to hit there. So, hit that key. And we're in the console. So we're going to remove the HUD. So this is CL, draw HUD, 0. It's gone. Now, with console commands, you gotta type them in, but we can bind them to a key. And I really suggest doing this, especially for the HUD. On mine, L will bring up the HUD and K will make it disappear. That's how I did it. So that's how I'm gonna suggest doing it. So, we're gonna bind K to remove the HUD. So, we're going to type bind K in quotations and then in quotations CL draw HUD 0. So now the HUD's up, I hit K, it's gone. But now we need to bring it back up because when you're in Gary's mind you're going to need it up sometimes so you can see what you're doing and you're ready cool what you're clicking on. So, we're gonna, not bind, bind, L, to CL, draw HUD, 1. If you have no idea what's going on, 0 is the off state, like binary, 1 is the on state. So, if you want something turned on, you need to put a 1. If you want something off, you're gonna hit a 0, in most cases. So now... I can toggle it. K will take it away. L will bring it up. That'll come in real handy. So if you turn it off, then maybe you need to pose something, and you won't be able to see where your reticule is. So just tap L, it's up. You can do whatever. The next console command we're going to learn is how to remove decals. Now say you decided to make your characters skeet their pants, and you decide you don't want that. Or maybe you shoot them on accident I just spit on my monitor okay anyway if you shoot them on accident and that's gonna kinda mess up your shot if you're recording something and an NG suddenly has blood on his face so how we're gonna do this is R underscore C L E A R decals R underscore clear decals and they're gone you can bind this to a key too if you want I currently do not have it binded to anything because I don't use it that often but if you want to bind it go ahead now here's one you might not know about we're gonna go CL detail detail dist and then there's a number. Now this is going to change the distance in which detail, what are they called? Detail props, yeah, detail props are shown. And those are like grass. I think the default might be 1200. Not sure, we're going to do 5000. Now look at that in the distance, we can see grass on the hills there. Now before we couldn't. Whoa. 
So that is there. Whenever it's detail this ah. detail this. Say when it's at one thousand. Oh shit. Detail. Forgot the T. One thousand. There, now it's gone. And it looks cool. Whoa. It looks cooler and way awesomer when we have a high number. I think 10,000 might be the max. I'm not sure though. Keep in mind though, when you do this, it will slow down your computer. Unless you have a beast like me. <laughs> now, the next one we're going to learn is about physics. Now you can see here, Spy has hung himself after listening to my sarcastic laugh. So let's slow him down a bit. We're gonna go into fizz underscore time scale. Now one is normal speed. If I do 0.5, now physics are slowed down by half. I can do 0.1. Now it's slowed down to a tenth. Now why would this be useful? Well, you can use it for slow-mo instead of slowing down your video, which won't look very, as good compared to this. You can just slow down the physics and have whatever happen. So maybe someone's getting shot in slow motion. And they go just flying back slowly. And that's going to look way better than if you slow down your footage in post. In post, that means editing. Sorry for the big time lingo. Okay. <laughs> Fizz times scale two. So now that's double speed. Now this is the max you can do. This isn't going to be real helpful, I guess. There are some cases, but let's go to this other scenario I have, which is more useful in my opinion. For fizz time scale, the thing I use it for is this. And it's if you want something to happen to your actor on camera. And, well, let me just show you. Whoa, wrong camera. Okay. Let's say we want demo to fall to the ground. Now, normally you might think, well, how should I do this? Well, I'm going to turn off my HUD, go to the camera. And while I'm aimed at him, I'll hit R, and then he's unfrozen. But you, the problem is that unfrozen thing pops up, and the circles pop up where he was unfrozen. Well, with Fizz time scale, we can stop this. So, let's go into the console, Fizz time scale. We're going to go time, time scale zero. So now nothing happens when I try and do stuff. But if I go to fizz time scale one, then I can then move things again. Now I binded these to O and P. Let's see which one was it? I binded O to time scale zero because it's O, and then P to time scale one. So I can just hit O, P, O, P. So now why would I use this? Okay. This is what I'm trying to show you. So we're going to hit O. So physics are frozen. Now we're going to hit R. And now he's unfrozen. So I go to this. Now once I hit P to return it to time scale 1, that action will occur, but there won't be the UI overlay. So let's hit P. And there you go. Okay, the last console command I'm going to show you has to do with getting rid of this purple checkerboard for a missing texture on a reflection. So say this is in your scene, and it looks dumb because it's purple for no reason. Here's the command. Matt underscore specular zero. And that will turn it off. It'll turn off the reflectiveness, essentially. 
So now, it's not shiny, but it's not purple. I ran into this on the first Gmod I make, which was the dating game. And that was because the stools were reflecting the purple checkerboard. Because I didn't have a cube map in my map. And so I didn't, I didn't understand that, so I had this. So I eventually googled and find out that I can do Matt Specular Zero. And that fixed it. So this command will mainly be useful when you're downloading someone else's map and something goes wrong or they didn't put a cube map. So that's all I've got for you for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode in which I'll be doing something. That's all I know. Catch you later, sexy. It's funny because it looks like he skeeted his pants. <laughs>